Thank you. 
Thank you for joining us today. We have a very special and exciting guest who's going to describe to us a new technology that can help medical spas really boost their business. So I'm Nell Varinas. I'm your host. I'm with MedSpa Well, and it is our pleasure to be the host today um, of Beyond Aesthetic, the business of beauty. And this is all about 
um, how to run a med spa more profitably, more happily, and uh, that will bring all kinds of benefits to your patients. I've been in uh, marketing, but also a business consultant with a lot of different industries, helping executives and business leaders run their businesses better. Recently, I became a specialist in the med spa industry, and these broadcasts are meant for med spa owners so that they can do better and do well. So today, we have a special guest who's going to be talking to us about um, Repeat MD. It is a game changer. And before I introduce Ward, I would like to show the video to you that will explain a little bit about what Repeat MD does. So let's um, start that now. Wow, that's a pretty powerful piece. Welcome, <laughs> welcome, Ward. I know it's got me all jazzed up and excited. <laughs> I'm ready to dance. <laughs> that's right. Thank you, Nell. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Yes, I'm so pleased to have you on, Ward. And um, I uh, really am excited about you and your company and the product that you have for our med spa owners. So tell us a little bit about you. I um, so you are a former minister and also a counselor, helped a lot of people all over the country. You are well-traveled. You've been married for a few decades now with um, a couple of wonderful children who are um, building their own lives together. So tell us a little bit more about you, Ward. Well, thank you. Yes, I I, I did get a chance to, to travel a little bit. I was in the ministry for uh, 21 years and uh, went from the east to the west, uh, spent some time in California, spent some good time in Texas, and have spent uh, a good bit of time in Tennessee, which is where I grew up. Uh, my wife and I have been married for 25 years, so will be our 25th this year, and I've got a, a couple of great kids. One is uh, well, my daughter's down in Houston. She's 24, and my son is here uh, with us. He's 23, and so we've had a chance to to learn a lot, to see a lot, and and to, to to work with a lot of different kinds of people. We had a very international ministry, which was a lot of fun. Uh, interestingly enough, we spent a lot of time working with college age students, and so that, that uh, I hope it kept us young. We it tried to we tried to stay young working with them. But one of my one of my favorite students, uh, he and his girlfriend, we did their pre marriage counseling, and then I I performed his wedding ceremony. And when my kids got into high school, uh, my wife sat me down one night and had a good uh, husband-wife conversation of, "Hey, let's spend, let's have, let's have you spend more time with your kids than other people's kids." And so, and so I took that advice and made that decision to step away from the ministry. And that 
friend of mine whose wedding I'd performed, he worked at a diamond store. And he said, hey, you help people get married, come down and work with people who are getting married. And so completely out of my comfort zone, I got into retail and started selling diamonds and uh, engagement rings there in Houston, Texas. And my general manager at that time uh, was a, is now a very good friend of mine. His name is Thomas Ship. And Thomas happens to be the, uh, the sales operation uh, director at Repeat MD. And so we actually went on vacation uh, to a football game together with our wives last fall. And he had already been at Repeat MD for a while and was convincing me that I needed to come and join the team there. And, and so after a few more conversations, I decided to leave what I was doing here in Nashville as a general manager uh, of a large uh, diamond store and go to work uh, at Repeat MD. And it's really been incredible. It really has. It's been a, a kind of a transformational shift for me in what I do, but also how I get to spend my time. I actually now work from home, uh, which I really love. I get to travel. I get to go to uh, to aesthetic shows all over the country. Last month I was in Orlando one weekend and the next weekend I was in Seattle. Uh, so a little bit of a coast to coast there. Mm -hmm. But but really it's about relationships. I think that's what aesthetics is all about. It, it is about a relationship between the med spa and their patients. Uh, I feel like Repeat MD is a relational company. Um, it's still a fairly small company compared to where we, I know where we are going. It has grown incredibly fast because of how amazing the product is, I believe. Uh, but really it's about the people. Um, there's an amazing amount of vision, uh, which is a very important thing to me. You know, working for a jewelry company was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it but there wasn't a lot of vision there. It was just the same thing over and over again. Repeat MD has been constantly innovating, constantly stretching itself. And we have more and more things that I know we're going to be launching uh, with each upcoming year. And so even though we are a fairly young company, the growth because of the vision of the leaders and really the, the whole company has been pretty inspiring. My gosh, it seems like it was meant to be. And yeah. to have a friend invite you to join him with the, on this mission uh, yeah. to help um, other people find their better versions of themselves and and companies that provide yeah. that service. What a great what a great thing! And I'm so yeah. happy for you. <laughs> now oh, you're you. a life that you, you, you still are well traveling. You're traveling still, but you're sure. spending a lot more time with your family and. Yes. and and um, hopefully it's, it's also rewarding in financially as well. <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it very much. Wonderful. Okay, great. So um, one of the many questions that I have for you that I um, hope um, are representative of the questions that MedSpa owners would have of you are um, from what perspective, in your perspective, what do you say, uh, think are the main challenges for MedSpa owners? What sure. it, what you uh, come across what have they been telling you right well i appreciate that question very much it's funny as you were as you were talking about what what you do and what you're wanting to help your clients with is what we're trying to help them do we want them to be to be happily profitable you know we we right. want them to, to to grow their business but we want them to enjoy doing it and you know getting into this this really amazing field this this culture um of aesthetics uh and going to aesthetic shows and hearing speakers talk, uh, learning more and more about the industry, there are some things that are exciting and just, I mean, exhilarating. And then there are other things that are sobering and challenging. One of the sobering things I heard at a large aesthetic show in Nashville uh, just this summer, a main speaker you know, was talking about the, the business of aesthetics, and he said that eight out of 10 practices don't make it 10 years. That, that, that is a surprise to me. I wasn't prepared to hear that statistic. I, I didn't know right. that. And so, and at the same time, he said, you know, in the same speech, he said that at this point in time, and this was a, this was a large uh, dermatology conference. He said there were about 8,600 med spas in the U.S. in the summer of 2023. By the end of 2025, so really 18 months later, there would be approximately 12,000 med spas. So it would grow by 50%. So it is an exploding uh, industry because mm -hmm. it's profitable, because there is a desire in the public to get aesthetics and to be confident and be beautiful and, 
and get these services. But but being profitable and being happy is not always easy. And so so what are the things that keep us from being profitable and what are the things that keep us from being happy? And so from our perspective at Repeat Indeed, that's those are the problems that we're trying to solve, that we are trying to help work with you side by side to help you be more profitable and really enjoy it. I think the number one challenge is how do we grow? How do I get my business to grow? And that's that's growth in number of patients. That's growth in profitability. That may be growth of your space. You know, maybe you're in one room right now. How do you get to two rooms? Maybe you're in four rooms. How do you get to eight rooms? You have four employees. How do you get to 10? How do we grow? Mm -hmm. um, you know, really gaining patience. Patient acquisition, I hear every single day, is probably the biggest challenge. And then the second challenge is retention. How do we keep patients coming back again and again? Which are the probably the two biggest things that, we are, that we've tackled with what we do at Repeat MD. Sure. With uh, the numbers of people flowing into this space, there's more competition. So that mm -hmm. it intensifies the problem of um, a retaining, but also keeping, well, keeping and also attracting new patients. So right. PMD saw this. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, it's so the interesting thing we were founded uh, by some guys who were working in the restaurant industry. Uh, but when COVID hit, it, pretty much wiped out what they were doing from the restaurant perspective, but they had a friend that they had built a rewards app for. And, and all it did was reward patients for coming and it had a referral uh, referral process. And during the pandemic, when med spas were closed down because you couldn't have that kind of you know human interaction, um, his med spa actually grew. He, he gained patients because of that referral process and because he was able to stay in touch with them through the through the phone through the app and so when when they were trying to figure out what they were going to do moving forward their friend said oh hey this app that you built me was incredible success and that's what led us into this field and since we've joined in in this you know amazing culture uh, our founders have really embraced hey how we can transform lives because really that's what we see the aesthetics field doing you are in the business of transforming people's lives, giving them confidence and beauty when they didn't feel like they could have it. And so it's it's really neat. Right. Exactly. And it was what an aha moment <laughs> that they had when they realized that um, what they were able to do, create connectivity between a business and its clients or med spa and their patients yes. can be powerfully handled through a mobile app. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. You know, I think I think most what I see most med spas doing to attract new patients is they're, they're marketing and they're typically using social media, which I, I, I think is a great idea. Um, clearly, there there have been results that have come through, you know, Google ads, Facebook, Instagram. And so we, we never tell any clients to stop doing that. I think that's that's a great way to reach people. And the more effective you can be, the better. One of our clients who's currently having a tremendous amount of success with social media and the app together, he just did a big master uh, class with us two weeks ago and is now teaching some of our, our other clients, you know, for free, we've, we've, we've hired him to teach our other clients how to use social media more effectively and then combine that with the app to increase sales. And so that's, that's something that you can find at repeat MD. You can find on our Instagram page. It, it's incredible. He sold $140,000 worth of packages in one weekend. That's amazing. And I did um, happen to sit in on his presentation. At I, the know, I know you were there. Yes, he was very uh, he was very methodical, systematic, but he was able to use two channels together mm -hmm. to create that result over right. 140,000, 141,000 <laughs> in a weekend. You know, the, the the challenge with social media is that getting eyeballs on your ad does not equal a patient in the chair. And so what we've done, or and I think really effectively through the app, is we put together uh, just a very simple marketing strategy that gets people into 
your spa. And, you know, part of that is our friend to friend referral button, which really is kind of turned referrals upside down rather than the patient who's sending the referral being rewarded. We're actually rewarding the person who who receives the invite. And it makes a huge difference. I mean, imagine the first impression that someone gets who has not heard of your spa. If the first thing they hear is a friend saying how great you are and here's a gift if you come. That's that's a fantastic that's a fantastic way to hear about you. Or if they're already going somewhere else, yes. how are we gonna you know what's the carrot that we're gonna use to lead them away from the spa they're going to to come see you? That mm-hmm. gift makes all the difference. That's a win 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 situation. It is. Everybody. That's right. It yeah. sure is. That's absolutely great. Yes, and um and also I um there was a little bit of buzz around the Barbie movie that helped. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sure. You, you know, I. I, I yeah, you know, the, the, it's funny, I, before I heard about what Misha did, and Misha is the name of the spa, it's up in Pennsylvania, uh, another one of my clients had done a very simple 10-day uh, promotion uh, using the Barbie movie, uh, and I thought that was really cute, and I showed a lot of people that as I, as I went along, but that was, that was more of a 10-day, hey, come in, get 20% off, and they you know, use the Barbie promo code, and hey, listen, grab hold of whatever's in the news. <laughs> right. I mean, the, the, the term is called newsjacking, where mm-hmm. whatever is popular in life right now, and that could be something like the Olympics when it rolls around or the World Series, if, you know, from a sports perspective, from the movie perspective, you know, what, what is a what is a movie that's really catchy that you could mm-hmm. use to connect a song, even um, an event that's happening in your city. Um, mm-hmm. you know, Taylor, I'm in Nashville. Taylor Swift came to Nashville for three days and one of our spas used Taylor Swift. You know, they mm-hmm. what, whatever it takes. Yes, they, whatever. Grab people's attention. But that and also it's uh, creates some fun around it. Um, Absolutely. And, and I know um, people are invited to that Pennsylvania spa to come take a Barbie picture in their Barbie box. Mm-hmm. They had a Barbie box inside of the spa, which. Um, right. And people are invited in, and, and if they they were rewarded when they came in to take a picture in the Barbie box, mm-hmm. a free free some a free service, maybe a free vial of uh, Botox. I don't know. <laughs> that was another added incentive. That's but right. yes, there was a lot of um, energy and excitement, not just around one small thing, but it kept building. I understand every day something was added, and there was a. Sure. Of, of postings and and um, Misha also understood what time people were reading whatever on their phones so he tied he tied into that which is very very right. hard sure sure but you know, repeat MD was the vehicle that made this all happen right right it was all through the app that he was do- that he was selling these packages that we'd help him put together and and you know he was using the 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 real foundation of the app, which is the rewards. You know, when your patients feel like they're being rewarded for their loyalty to come to you, they will come more often. They will bring more people with them and they will spend more. I mean, it doesn't matter if we're selling coffee at Starbucks or Chick-fil-A sandwiches or, or uh, Sephora makeup. If you feel like you're being rewarded, you will come more and you will spend more. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And then you'll feel good about it too. <laughs> and, and, and walk away feeling great about it. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. 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 Mm-hmm. Wow. That's so exciting. Right. Um, um, and that's a wonderful story too, to tell. Are there any others that come to mind of, of people who use repeat MD in a similar way, possibly? Well, I mean, there are there are there are so many. I mean, right now I've got two of my best clients who are right at their one year anniversary with us, mm-hmm. uh, and they both are running a, a very similar um, a promotion called, you know, fall into savings. Yeah, and it, as we turn the the page on on a season this week, they're mm-hmm. using that to connect with people. And the thing is, is they're two very different spas, but they're doing the same kind of promotion. And that's what and that's because from our end we have what we do is we have a client success specialist who works with every spa and says, Hey, here's what's working over here. I think this would help you as well. I've got this one spa. It's just outside of, of, of Little Rock, Arkansas. They've been with us for a year and, and they've, the, the, the interesting thing for them is, you know, they're, they've gotten about 3000 people to join their platform, which is great. 
What they didn't realize was how much business they were losing for lack of retention. They didn't know how to follow up with people. They've got a beautiful facility. They were getting people in. And you know, the year before they joined us, they did around a million dollars in in business. This year, they've done they've done a million dollars just through the retention at, uh, process in the app. And so as they fall in as they fall into savings this year, and they hit their one year anniversary with Repeat MD, they've doubled their their income in one year using the app. That's exciting. Yeah, so the, exciting. yeah. My my other client is up in New York. And she's been with us for about a year and, and she's really taking advantage of the memberships. You know, uh, she mm-hmm. has sold, she has sold uh, over 200 memberships and, and because her memberships are about you know, $700 per month because of all the things that she puts into them, she's, she, you know, her memberships every month are about $100,000 in revenue for her. And so, <laughs> so she's falling into savings, but and her 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 clients are saving, but but she's winning. She is she is happily she's happily profitable. Believe Profit. me. Yeah, I'll say so. Yeah. So let's go back. So um, to explain exactly what Repeat MD is, it it is a mobile app. So sure. people work with you to, um, Mespa owners work with you to. Well, maybe you can walk us through the steps. Of course, absolutely. You know, l- looking at. A conversation that I had today, looking at, at at how to reach consumers over the years. And as a 54 year old, I'll go through I'll go through my journey. You know, three television stations, and so advertising, you know, dollars to, to get on one of those three stations was a was a big challenge over the years. Newspaper and print media. How you know? I I remember getting the Sunday paper and all the advertisements that they had in the Sunday paper. And then I remember the huge, you know, as, as the internet came along and when dot coms came and everyone had to have a website. When I was in college in 1987, 88, 89, no one had a cell phone. Today, every fifth grader in middle school has a cell phone and, and a lot of kids in elementary school, right? So so the phone, the phone has become the vehicle for so much of our lives. It's not just for communication, it's for business, it's for entertainment, and it is for shopping. And so what we do is we build a private label app for every spa that we work with. Every med spa, every doctor's office that we work with, we build their own white label app so that their patients can keep them close by. So that at any moment's notice when they decide, hey, I want to get my microneedling, I want to get my Botox, I want to get my body sculpt, my, my cool sculpting or, or my body contouring, I can pick up my phone and in seconds, one, two, three, four, tap, 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 make my purchase. Not just schedule, not just glance and browse and hope to wait for the practice to open tomorrow. I can actually make my purchase right in the app uh, at any point in time, any time that you want to run um, a promotion, you want to have a campaign, we, you know, we send out text messaging to everyone in the platform so that everyone at once knows exactly what you're doing. I, I tell on myself quite often, I've got, unfortunately, thousands of unopened emails. I've had the same email address for almost 30 years. And so <laughs> I get bombarded. I get bombarded with emails every day. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I have zero unopened texts. Every text <laughs> I get, I open, right? And so, and everyone else is like that. So when they get a text from your spa that's talking about this great new event or this super cool campaign or this reward that you're giving them, of course they're going to open it. They're going to enjoy opening that text and they're going to come see you. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, so they feel heard. They feel, um, yeah, they feel recognized. They feel good. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> it allows you to really stay connected. When, when they when they see that because they've already got a personal relationship with you because of the intimate you know connection of aesthetics and so when you connect with them through their phone which is you know their most personal little possession because it's got all their secrets in it <laughs> they, they, they feel connected they, they really do enjoy getting that that connection because they know that there's a reward in it for for them uh, it definitely, definitely leads to a a much deeper connection and, and, and more visits. So this mobile app works on most, mobile, most major phones or virtually any phone. 
Anyone sure, else? absolutely. Yeah, I, 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 you know, again, I'll tell myself I was a, I was an Android guy for 25 years, <laughs> and uh, you know, my daughter grew up as an iPhone girl, and she t- she used to tease me over and over and over and ask me when I was finally going to switch over, and I actually switched over uh, my second month at Repeat MD. I switched from my Android in, into my iPhone, and I have mm-hmm. and I was use I can use the app on either one. So yes, it, it's compatible <laughs> with everything. Yes, with, with all the with all the phones that people have, and it's fantastic. That's right. yeah, so there's absolutely. nobody misses out. <laughs> nobody out. misses out. Nobody misses out. It works on all the platforms, and you mm-hmm. you build you customize this app for the spa, absolutely so branded. Yeah. yeah, we have an amazing implementation team that you get to spend time with over the course of you know about forty five days. That we just had a huge uh, company wide meeting today, and. The average, you know, time to launch from beginning to launch is at 48 days uh, as of in, in the last month. And so, so, so in that month and a half or so, you spend time with our implementation team. You spend time with your client success specialist, who is a, a relationship that you carry on after the app is launched. That's the person that you'll continue to talk to and, and work mm-hmm. on, continue to keep your app updated. Mm-hmm. Um, but yes, it is completely white labeled with, with your logo and colors. All of your your menu of services, everything that you sell, we put onto the app, and we help you customize packages and memberships. You know, mm-hmm. seven out of ten people who frequent a business want a membership, and I have seen company. You know, we've got clients who have memberships, membership monthly of twenty thousand, fifty thousand, seventy thousand, a hundred thousand dollars every month just in memberships on top of the services that their members purchase that kind of recurring revenue, you use the term game changer at the beginning, yes. that is a game changer. We're talking about, you know, we're talking about growing your practice. There's so much you can do when you know that you've got that revenue coming in every single month. You work so hard. I mean, imagine 10 days from now will be September 30th. You've worked so hard. And then you start October 1st, how would you feel if you already knew that you had $50,000 in memberships coming in versus mm-hmm. a lot of spas start the month at zero and then they just got to go, they got to go out again and they got to mm-hmm. work super hard again to get their, to get themselves to profitability. Mm-hmm. When you've got that kind of recurring monthly revenue, it, it just changes the game. It sure does. You don't have, you're not a <clears throat> square one again. You're actually have, right. have a leg up. Sure. And with the memberships, your, your, your patients feel like, hey, I'm getting to enjoy exclusive member only benefits. It's the restoration hardware model. Your mm-hmm. restoration hardware, it's a great store. There's one in Nashville. I, I, I love taking my wife there and looking around. But that's typically what we do. We just look around because it is it is a, some high ticket there. <laughs> but but everything that they sell, they show you the price and the member price. And if you have a membership there, you get significant savings. Mm-hmm. It's not. A, it, no one is going to confuse restoration hardware for a, a discount store. No one should ever come to your spa expecting a discount. You work too hard. You, you, you're too good at what you do. Your your equipment, your your products are are too are too high end for someone to get a discount. But with the memberships, you can offer them exclusive member only benefits, which give them a price break on some of your uh, services, but they also, because they have a membership dues, you still, you're still profitable, but your patients feel like they get something special. Yes, and they're coming back more frequently. And they come back more frequently. And they get introduced, and they get introduced to more of your services. That's the other thing that we do with the memberships when we build them, is we build in things that they don't normally try. Most people go to a med spa, like they go to their favorite restaurant. They trust it but they usually only trust one or two things. I know if I order this on the menu, it will taste delicious. So they don't expand their palate. They don't look at the other side of the menu. Mm -hmm. If they only knew how good these other services that you have are, they would buy packages with them in it. So with the memberships, we we give them just a little taste of this and a little taste of that. And that allows them to purchase more in the future. Right, sure. And um, do you also provide training for the staff on how to use the repeat MBF? Yeah. yeah, that's a huge part of the of the whole process. You know, uh, as we're going through with the implementation team, building the app together with you, 
uh, we're doing training. And then before the launch is one last big final training that says, hey, here's, and, and believe me, if I can use the app, <laughs> anybody can use the app. It is, it is very simple. It is a, and, and we, we wanted ease of purchase to be one of the key factors. We wanted people to be able to sign on to the app within seconds. You know, you go from scanning your QR code to, to downloading the app on your phone in literally 30 seconds. It is that easy. Wow. The, the longest thing it takes is typing your name in. That's the hardest thing to do to get onto the rewards program. And then making a purchase is literally click, 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 and now you've purchased it. <laughs> the, only, the only thing that might take a little bit longer is if you use the in-app financing that we provide. You know, we use a firm financing right inside the app, which is obviously the biggest financing company in America right now, Amazon, Target, Walmart, the highest approval rates in the industry with a super low cost to the practice, lower than anything else that's out there. I promise you that. Um, and it's a game changer when someone can, can at, on their couch at nine o'clock at night, use financing that saves them money and saves you money. And that's loaded onto the app. It's, 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 it's built in. It's built in with every single, with every single service that you offer, they can finance it with a firm. Yes, that's absolutely. So when patients are in for a treatment, um, the um, practitioner can help them download the app. So right. it's as easy as that. Yeah, it, it's as simple as when they check in, you, you say something to the effect of, hey, we have a new check-in process that allows you to access our memberships and rewards. And if you go ahead and scan this QR code right here, we have a $50 uh, gift for you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So no to that. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> right. and so, yeah. so, so they download it, and then yes, while they're there, you know, getting their service done, uh, mm -hmm. it's a, it is literally one of the easiest things in the world to use. And you know, I've got an 82 year old mother. You know, she's had her cell phone for 25 years because of grandkids. Mm -hmm. She can use it. Again, <laughs> tap, tap, tap. it's it's so easy. It is really so easy to use. And so, you know, right now, I, as a member of Generation X. Generation X spends more on aesthetics than any other age group. Closely followed behind by the millennials who are hot on our trail. And yeah. they are they are your target, right? They're, they're your target audience over the next 10 to 15 years uh, because they will grow into spending the most money on aesthetics. And so they've lived with the phone their whole life. It's, it's glued to their hand. <laughs> if, if you don't have an app, especially a rewards app that's really connecting with people, you're, you're missing out on so many sales. Mm -hmm. If your cash register is opened uh, 40 hours a week, uh, 2,000 hours a year versus mm -hmm. 9,000 hours a year, we want your cash register open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Right. And, and uh, most people, I think, might assume that a mobile app is fairly expensive. But um, you were telling me, well, RepeatMD is committed to making people happily profitable. <laughs> That's right. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, it's an investment. Uh, it's an investment in the practice, but it was interesting when I was in Orlando this year, uh, this, this last month, uh, had a great conversation with a gentleman who did financial planning and advising of med spas. And he and I spent a lot of time together over the course of, you know, 72 hours. Uh, we just kept running into each other, kept having conversations. And uh, near the end of the conference, we were he, he was telling me how much he enjoyed the app and what it looked like and, you know, the presentation that we had done on stage there at that conference. And he said, you know, where the greatest thing about it is that write it off on your taxes. And it was so funny when he said that it was such an aha moment for me because I had never really thought of that before. And so while while there is an upfront build out cost and, and even a monthly, uh, you know, fee to run the app, it it's all tax deductible. So you get it all back at the end of the year, although the app pays for itself so many times over in new patient acquisition, in mm -hmm. retention, uh, and in the financing that they that you get so many more sales. Um, you, you really won't even think about it that much. Uh, it, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a practice changing tool for sure. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, definitely an investment in one's own business. It's it one is. Of, yeah. It's one of the pieces of equipment. It is. Uh, Absolutely, that, 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 but it but it doesn't it doesn't cost as much as a piece of equipment. No, it doesn't. Not as much as a laser machine. <laughs> no, it doesn't. No, it does not. No, um, 
but you know, again, having a it's a med commerce platform, right? You you are just like an e-commerce platform. It's a med commerce platform. You're selling your services 24 hours a day, and really, that's when most people are are, are purchasing on the phone, which is at night. Um, mm-hmm. And we are committed to to helping our our clients, you know, uh, be as successful as possible. The, the build out cost for us is so much less than it would be if you tried to do it on your own, because we now have all our systems in place. We, we have all of our, you know, uh, engineers and all our software builders mm-hmm. because we've done it over 3000 times. You know, we're, we are able to produce a, a quality uh, that, that you just can't get on your own, no. You know, no matter, no matter how good the builder is. And we can do it at an incredible price this month, the next 10 days, we have our, best price that I have ever seen at repeat ND to build the app. And so I'll, I'll talk about that at the end, but it is, it is an incredible opportunity. Right. Uh, yes. I, I'm excited about it. And I, I encourage our, our listeners to give uh, Ward a call um, or um, email him or actually I'm, I'm going to be putting the booking link for Ward. Um, in the description for this video so you can get a hold of him. And Ward, I promise you, is a delight to work with. <laughs> and and I, I, was, I was going to lead to the idea that most people think that mobile apps are super expensive, unaffordable even. But because uh, RepeatMD has so much um, research into this and they specialize in it, they've been able to bring the prices down. So that's affordable. Absolutely. It fits in, in most people's budgets and it, it's like a, it's a, it's a gimme in some cases. Yeah, I, I really believe it is. I, I mean, the, the app pays for itself. If, I mean, on average, our clients get about 80 new referrals in the first three months. Oh, that's, that's and, great. Imagine, imagine getting 80 new patients in the next three months. If you got eight new patients in the next three months, it would pay for the app. Mm-hmm. I mean, two, two new patients a month and the services that they get would, would, would pay for the monthly of the app. You know, it, it, it's that it's that simple. That, that gets my attention. <laughs> my ears are you know, perked up to hear that. That's amazing. Yeah. So I encourage everyone, yes, to get in touch with Ward and learn how you can do yourself a favor with this repeat MD mobile app. Very powerful tool. Okay, so let's. See. I have a few questions for you. Other questions, okay. you can a deep dive. <laughs> and I, let's do. we okay, great. Um, what uh, what is in in, in the road uh, roadmap for development in the Repeat MD app? What's in the future? So, sure, uh, the the future is really really exciting. Um, th- there are some some amazing things. So uh, I'll take you on a little bit of a, a journey. Let's go back to the beginning. Uh, I'm talking about four, four young men uh, in their late twenties and early thirties uh, are friends. They, they work in the restaurant industry and now they, they stumble upon this idea uh, to build an app for, uh, for med spas. Um, and so over the last four years as they've developed that, they are incredibly visionary and they've really caught hold of uh, this space and and taking care of patients. And so as we go forward, there will be more and more and more and more uh, software and development for the patient experience with you, the med spa owner. Uh, Right now, uh, we we just launched our second version of the app. So as I mentioned, the first version of the app just did rewards and referrals. Then we were able to add some retention. And then after a, almost a full year and a half where all we did was rewards, retention and referrals, we added the marketplace. And we had the marketplace where people could, where our clients could sell their, their services on the app, uh, but it wasn't, it wasn't enough. We, we, we had to get better. One of our pillars is constant, never ending improvement. Uh, we and purposeful innovation. Those are two of our biggest pillars. And so innovating, innovating, improving, improving, how can we make the app better? We went and hired really the the best web uh, app builder in, in the game. Uh, she worked with Target. She worked with uh, Bergdorf. She worked with Neiman Marcus. She is incredible. 
uh, Lottie is her name. She's from New Zealand. She's lives in, she's at our New York office right now, and she is she is just phenomenal today. Today at our all hands meeting, she was the main speaker talking about all the things that we're doing for the second version of our app, which we launched in a beta uh, version this summer, and it's just getting better and better and better. And so uh, there were several things that that came out in this V2 that just make it easier to shop. It makes it easier for the, the med spa owner to do their own uh, edits, to do their own text messaging, to do their own campaigns if they want to. Now, I mentioned that you have the client success specialist. So anytime that you want to contact us to do something, new, we, we're happy to, but we're making it easier for you to do what you want to do. Because some things you want to do very, very quickly and some things you're okay waiting a few days for. So we're trying, so that's the newest in version two. There's much more accessibility by the med spa owner to do what they want to do. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, so one other uh, area that is of concern is the security of the information that goes on the mobile app. How does sure. PDMD handle that? Absolutely. So when it comes to uh, their credit card, um, you know, that's that's the biggest thing. You know, uh, we we go through Stripe, who is one of the biggest, uh, you know, marketers in the world for uh, for transactions, their software, their security. Uh, you just can't get any better than what they have because of, of how big their platform is and how much they put in. So we've had zero security issues uh, in the three years that we've been there. And then. Uh, we, we know from, from the patient perspective and from the practice perspective, guarding your information is our, one of our highest priorities. And so that is uh, a constant thing that we're talking about. Um, you know, again, exceeding expectations is another one of our pillars. And so we, we feel like we exceed expectations when it comes to security and making sure that patient information is protected. So that patient information, does it reside on your servers? Where does the patient information reside? It does. It does. Mm -hmm. Now it's in the app, obviously. So, you know, the, the, the practice owner can see it on the admin page uh, mm -hmm. and, and the, the patient can see it in their phone. Um, but, but yes, we, we've got that. And so at any point in time, you know, that, that information belongs to the practice. And so let's say for whatever reason, uh, a med spa owner decided that they were going to um, uh, they were going to shift into another direction as far as the business was concerned, and they were going to no longer need the app. So we would shut down the app, and we would give we would then give the business owner all that information, uh, so that so that we wouldn't have it. Right, that's uh, not ours. That's yours. Amazing. All right. Well, that <laughs> make it very seamless, and actually, yeah, there's a lot of confidence in how that is handled yeah, and respect, about that. yeah and respecting the ownership of the data yeah, yeah absolutely 100%. So, great so does the app integrate with any common software that a med spa might have inside its okay. business yeah so that's that's one of the next big steps is, <laughs> is integration right now we do not integrate and so I would say there's about 20 EMRs. There's probably more, but there's about 20 that I'm familiar with uh, that I you know that my med spas work with on a regular basis because they're all a little different. You know, just being able to from this at this point in our journey, being able to integrate with every single one of them individually is not is not our goal. What we know that you've spent money on the EMR. You've got your own booking system. And so what we do is we link to your booking page. You know, when, when a patient makes a purchase, we simply provide a link that goes right to your booking page and they can book their appointment that way. And so that it does not interfere with the system that you already have in place. But because we work with so many, we found, you know, Aesthetic Record, Aesthetic Pro, you know, Zenodi, uh, mind body. I mean, there's there's so many different ones. Um, we, we work well with all of them. You know, we we don't interfere with them. Absolutely. So there's a, a lot of thought being given to um, the design of Repeat MD and how it's going to be serving the medical spa industry. 
uh, as well as other medical industries. That I know this is uh, an application that can be applied to other, but other medical practices, not absolutely. Only. Yeah, to, yeah. To, today I spoke to integrative medicine first thing this morning. Mm -hmm. Then I spoke to a dentist who has a very high-end dental practice in Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. Then I spoke to a med spa owner. Then I spoke to an ophthalmologist. <laughs> <laughs> then I, and I spoke to a chiropractor. Then I spoke to a plastic surgeon. And now mm -hmm. I'm on with you. So yeah, there, there are all there are all. Oh, I spoke to a woman's wellness doctor uh, oh. in, in in Corona, California. So yeah, there there are so many different applications. Uh, anything that is a cash-based service. We can put on the app, and we can and we can help you sell. Right. Yes, and and they all have the same problem that you solve, and that is to attract and retain patients and increase your right. business. That is right. That is right. You know, last month uh, was our second most successful month in launching. Uh, we launched 152 new practices in August. Um, we're we're over 3,000 practices now, and really just enjoying what we're doing. I mean, it is it is a tremendous uh, feeling right now in the company. Um, the ownership, uh, the CEO, the executives are just a great group of people. I think that's my favorite thing about uh, mm -hmm. working for them is is that the time that I've spent with them, it's just nice to be around people who are very passionate and excited about what they're doing and want to take things to another level. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. So on that note, uh, the, so repeat, MD has been around for three years now. Well, over three years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you mentioned that they were the um, founders were in the re in the restaurant business. Right. Let's yeah. Talk a little bit more about them and their vision. Sure. No, our CEO's name is Phil Sitter, and Phil is uh, a third generation restaurateur uh, there in Houston, uh, and 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 very visionary, and and I mean just I mean some again I look at vision as a gift. I mean, from, from the ministry perspective, the Bible talks a lot about that. And, and you see people who were leaders uh, who had great vision. And then when they didn't have great vision, poor, you know, some, some bad things happen. And so I look at, at, you know, there are very few people I feel like who, ha who are visionaries. Um, and Phil is a visionary. Uh, he, he will not stop. He, he, he cannot stop. I don't, I don't think he can. He, he just wants things to get better. Uh, for the sake of getting better. And so uh, when Phil, Phil was with, you know, his friends and, and they just they just had this desire to try to change the industry and do some things that had never been done before and provide a service that, that was not available. There was no med commerce. I mean, medicine uh, in, in all its forms is one of the last bastions of one of the, the old guard uh, type uh, industries in America that there, there was no you know, e-commerce for medicine, you had to come into the practice, you had to talk to the doctor before you can make any kind of purchase. And, and that's just not, that's just not true. And mm -hmm. especially in, in this aesthetic practice uh, world that we're living in this, um, you know, uh, medicine where you've got choices. And if you want to choose to make your purchase, then, then you can do that. And so really mm -hmm. it's the, it's the founding principles of the company that I think say so much about them. Uh, the first one is our success is your success. You know, we, our biggest desire is for our clients to have amazing success. That, that all that does is benefit us. Um, and so our goal through building the app together with you, giving you incredible service, continuing to, to innovate, we want you to be successful, uh, exceeding expectations. I, I've been blown away that, that we really, we will go to any link to exceed your expectations. We want, uh, I, I do my pitch. I talk to you about repeat MD, but I know that what you're going to get after you talk to me is going to be better than what I've told you. The last thing I want to do is tell you how great it is. And then you go, this isn't like that at all. <laughs> I don't have enough time to tell you all the cool things that the app does. I can't give you enough examples of people and how they've grown and how they've used it. And with each passing month, we have more and more success stories to share with each other. There, there's no, there's no information hoarding at Repeat and Do. We share everything. We want if we've got success going on in one corner or another corner of the country, we want you to have it. You know, we're we're this close to launching in Canada on a on a full scale. Uh, 
the Canadian provinces are, are do some different things uh, mm -hmm. economically. It's not like the United States, but we're this close to launching in Canada. That's going to be another big, a big thing for us. Um, but constant, never-ending uh, improvement, journey before destination, which is, I think, a big part of of my life personally. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I've got a, my my son is 23. He has special needs, and so I I don't I don't look at life the same way as a lot of guys my age do. I mean, I, I've, I've got to enjoy my journey with my son, but, you know, the destination, I don't even know what the destination is for him right now. Mm -hmm. so I just want to enjoy the journey. As a business owner, we want you to enjoy the journey of owning your med spa. What, what's the destination? I don't know. Maybe you open a second or a third or a fourth spa. Maybe it's a million dollars in revenue. Maybe it's two million. Maybe it's 10 million. Maybe you want to sell your spa for $30 million one day. That's the destination getting there. We want to make your journey fun. We want to make it easier. We want to make it obviously more profitable. Um, right. pur yeah, purposeful innovation is another pillar. We don't just throw things at the app to throw things at the app. We're being very methodical how we're building the app. Each new thing that we add, we want it to be very purposeful in how we grow the app. And they have, I know they have plans for five and 10 and 20 years but we can't get to 20 years until we get to finish this year. And so the things we're doing right now, there's a purpose behind them. Just like what you're doing in your med spa, there's a purpose behind your next purchase. Mm -hmm. You know, the next piece of equipment, the next hire, the next thing that you're doing, even the next, you know, marketing thing, there's got to be purpose behind that. And then our last one is team on a mission. I work with this. I work with a, a, a consultant team, the sales team. Mm -hmm. um, we work with each other, not against each other. We help each other uh, to help our clients. There, there, you know, there is no competition. Uh, I know most of them from from when I was living in Houston, um, and it's it is team on a mission. And so each part of of our company is helping the other parts of the company. One is not more important than, than the other, and we try to bring that to our clients as well. Right. So the cul the culture is very nurturing and but encouraging and achieving. Achievement Absolutely. Motivated. Yeah. The, the culture is probably the most important part. So people who are users of the repeat MD can tap into that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. We have a master class every month. We have ongoing Zoom trainings. Uh, we, we want you to, to be fun, have, you know, to, to, to have a, a fun time and, and be successful. <laughs> yes, and I do tune into those um, webinars and um, uh, teaching training sessions. Um, a lot of them are available on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, yeah. And, and, and we usually give away a Louis Vuitton bag on, on each one of those two. <laughs> <laughs> and, so, and that doesn't hurt. Yeah, all the med spa owners, anybody That's who right. is a repeat MD client uh, is welcome. And those yep. who are not yet. That's right, so, absolutely. Yeah, everybody. Yeah, and I, I find the entire leadership very, very inspiring. And, and I, the pillars, the five pillars you mentioned, I'd like a copy. Of <laughs> it. Yeah. <laughs> it seemed like a great values to have. Uh, to they are. Life. Mm -hmm. And to bring goodness to others. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Yeah, so we're, we're in the final moments of this, this, uh, this broadcast. Ward, you have, you're so eloquent. And I... Um, love hearing you speak. You speak with such depth and such breadth and um, wisdom and there's a compassion about you. And I, I just, are there any last words that you would like to say before we? Sure. Absolutely. You know, I, I again, Nell, thank you so much. I, I really appreciate the time. I, I've, I've loved getting to know you and talking to you and staying connected over the last few months. And I look forward to continuing to work with you with your clients, you know, I, I want to make this a September to remember uh, for your clients. You know, uh, we, we, we really believe strongly in trying to help as many people uh, get started with repeat MD as possible. And so we are, we have had a, a really great special that we're going to run for the next 10 days. Uh, the, the cost of the build out of the app uh, is typically $10,000 for the next 10 days. We're going to do the build out for the app at 1000 $995. So 80% off. Uh, <laughs> we, we're going to build the app. We want to try to help as many people as possible and close out our third quarter 
uh, with with a record number. We're trying to, to, mm -hmm. to get as many people signed up as we can, and and so to do that, you know, our again, the, the founders said that they wanted to to run this special for the next ten days, and so I would love to offer that. Uh, please, you know, please send me an email uh, if if you want to. You can book on my on my uh, my calendar page, and I will take care of you. I also want to make sure that if you're on this webinar. If Nell's helping you, please, you know, when you you need to let me know, or if you end up with somebody else, let them know that it was Nell, so that so that we can we can thank her for 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 sending us uh, your uh, our way. We appreciate you coming our way. You know, we just we want to help you. We want to help people grow, and it's an amazing growth opportunity. Well, I admire the company very much, and even more so the people in it. And um, and. I just want to say, you, you met, we started the program today talking about um, a med spa in Pennsylvania. And that exemplified to me the degree of sharing, because this owner was willing to share his secret sauce. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was willing to share his secret sauce in an effort to help other med spas. Because, and he also mentioned a statistic earlier that eight out of nine med spa owners are not in business like five years later. Is yeah, 10 years later. Yeah. 10 years later, 80% are out of business. Yeah. 80% are out of business because of lack of clients, like lack of returning. It's, it's, it's the acquisition, the client management, mm -hmm. patient management um, didn't go quite as expected. So yeah, loss of business. That's, that's staggering. It is. But, so in that vein, repeat and be to the rescue. That's right. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And yeah. in a very fun way. Yes. Thank you, Ward. I really, really appreciate your being on the show tonight. And I'm looking forward to doing even more. And maybe we'll have you back on. You can tell us some more about advances that Repeat MD is making in this medical spa space. Thank you. I'd love to. I appreciate it now. It's been great. Okay, great. Thank you. And we'll be in touch. Okay. All right. Thank you again. Okay, everyone. Thank you again for joining us for this edition of Beyond Aesthetics, the Business of Beauty. Next week, we're going to be speaking with um, a person who's uh, envisioned a new model, a new business model for medical spas, and he calls it medical spas in the cloud. It's cloud medical spas. So this entrepreneur has a new um, model for med spas, as I mentioned, that will reduce or even eliminate human resource costs and reduce operating costs, reduce the cost of owning an a piece of equipment. So huge savings that can be uh, shared with you, that he's going to share with us next Wednesday. So tune in again next Wednesday, 5 to 6 p.m. Pacific. And we hope to see you there. Thanks so much for joining again.